Hi everybody, it's uh, Jakob again. This is the second example from the games problem set. And um, we won't use uh, winning and losing strategies for this problem because this is a different one. This is a symmetry problem. And symmetry problems are also quite important examples of games um, because here you're explicitly sort of, you know, finding the strategy out by uh, exploiting the symmetry. That's what I was saying. Something is the same on both sides and we're going to use that fact to win the game, right? So I'm giving a bit of spoilers for the solution, but you know, let's go. Symmetry basically says an important game to solve games problems. You can uh, try to look for it in the problem and apply it uh, whenever you find something like this. And this, yeah. So we have a round table, 28, I think, uh, seats around it. Doesn't really matter how many seats are around it. Let's say the Carl. Let's say the Carl. You know, Carl has to start, and he will put this guy somewhere. It doesn't matter where he put it because this the table is round, so we can always rotate it. So. Let's say he puts it on, on the top, so the Carl's guy is here. The green will mean that it is a Carl's guy, right? So now the strategy for Louis is to always put his guy opposite Carl's guy. So he, he, does, he does that, right? This goes through the center of the table, and uh, it's exactly the opposite position. Now, at the beginning, it's obvious that both, the, both boys can do this thing. Uh, there's nothing, no one sitting around this place and no one sitting here so they can always do it right now the thing is then Carl has to make a decision has to make he has an upper hand the situation is symmetric both parts of the table are the same right if you like mirror it from one side to another uh, then it's the same now or I go through the center right um, now Carl, he has to make some choice, so he puts his guy here, right? Now, the thing is that Louis will then mirror his move on the other side, like going through the center. And why? First of all, if if there is enough, sort of, if there's no one, no one sitting here, then Carl can, can put his guy here, right? But if, if we assume that the situation is symmetric at the beginning of, of Carl's each move, that, that means that there is always also not anyone sitting here. So Louis can also put his put his guy here, right? And then the situation will be symmetric after symmetric after Louis Louis move. Right? So Louis is always making the situation symmetric after his move. And Carr is always making it not symmetric after his move because he has to do something then breaking the symmetry, right? He has to break the symmetry of like if I go through the center that there's always someone there. And because of this, because Lou is always making a symmetric move, he can always do his move. So we know that if Carl's move was possible, then there was enough space here because the, the, the table is symmetric, it's the same situation going on on both sides, then it's always possible for Louis to make his move. Right? So if Carl could make his move, then Louis can also make his move. This is really important because that means that Louis cannot lose. Right? You lose if you can't make a move, but we know that Louis is always going to be able to make a move. Um, the space will run out. Eventually the game has to finish because there's only some 28 seats and some of them can be taken. So Carl will lose. Right? At some point Carl will not be able to make a move. And Louis will always be able to make a move after Carl has made his. So Louis cannot win, cannot lose. That means that Carl has to lose. Someone has to lose. So Carl will lose, and Louis will therefore win. This is how we exploit the symmetry. Basically, we just try to mirror, do the same the thing, same thing that they, our opponent does, and use the fact that they were able to do that, do what they did. So that is why we are able to do what we did, right? Louis couldn't make his move if Carl didn't move his, make his move, right? The only reason why Louis can put this guy here is because Carl has put this guy here and he knows the situation was the same on both sides. Right, so I hope that helps you solve some symmetry problems in this problem set and the other maybe as well. And see you in the example number three.